Column charts help to analyze and compare data effectively. Whether you are a student or a professional, column charts will help you transform your data, draw valuable insights, and make it easier for your audience to understand the data. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I'm Ishrak Kader, and in today's video, I'll be showing you two different ways you can create a 2D clustered column chart in Excel. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the list of marks dataset, which contains subject name, acquired number, and the highest number columns. Here, we want to represent this data as a clustered column chart using Excel's charting feature and VBA. Let's begin by creating a clustered column chart with Excel's charting feature. First, I'll select from B4 to D10 range, then click on the Insert tab. In the Chart section, I'll click on Insert Column or Bar Chart drop-down. Here, I'll select 2D Clustered Column. This inserts a basic two-dimensional clustered column chart. I'll click on Chart Elements button, then I'll check Data Labels. We can see the marks associated with each bar has appeared in our chart. Afterward, I'll click on the paint brush icon, which is chart styles. Here you can choose any style according to your preference. In my case, I'll choose style 8. This changes the chart style completely. Lastly, I'll select the chart title and type acquired versus highest number. And that's it, our two-dimensional clustered column chart is ready. We can also use VBA code to generate two-dimensional clustered column charts. But first, we have to enable the Developer tab. To do this, I'll right-click on any of the tabs in the ribbon, then go to Customize the ribbon. This opens up the Excel Options dialog box. Under the Main tab section, you'll find the Developer option. Click on it. Then click on OK. Now our Developer tab is visible. Go to the Developer tab. In the Code section, choose Visual Basic. You can also use the Alt plus F11 shortcut keys. This opens up the Visual Basic editor. In the Insert tab, I'll select Module. This inserts Module 1. You can see the Module 1 window appear on the right. Inside the Module 1 window, I'll paste my VBA code. Now you can copy this VBA code from the article that is linked in the description box below. Let's briefly go through how this code works. This macro selects the B4 to D10 range and sets it as the data source for the chart. Now you can change this range according to your requirement. Using this selected range, the macro then inserts a clustered column chart. Afterward, I'll click on the Run button you can also press the F5 key to execute this macro. Now I'll click on this button to go back to my spreadsheet and we can see a two-dimensional clustered column chart appear in our spreadsheet. I'll use the resizing arrows to increase the chart size, select the chart, then click on Chart Elements button. Here I'll check Chart Title and enable Data Labels. We can see that the acquired and the highest numbers have appeared in our chart. Then I'll click on Chart Styles. You can choose any style according to your preference. In my case, I'll choose Style 8 just like before. And lastly, I'll select Chart Title and type Acquired versus Highest Number. This completes our clustered column chart. In this demonstration, I have shown you two handy methods to create a 2D clustered column chart in Excel. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!